If you are aiming to crack Microsoft Software Engineers internships interviews without doing endless online assessments, you are in the right place. I didn't work at any big tech company before I joined Microsoft. I did not go to any famous college. In my resumes, I only have internship at schools, at startups, or at tech companies like APT Softwares or Nextex in my country. But today, I'm excited to tell you how I got a job at Microsoft as an intern. I only have to do two round interviews, and I didn't even have to take on online assessments. I'm going to share with you a special trick that most people don't know about. You know what's funny? I almost didn't apply to Microsoft. Why? Because everyone around me keep telling me three things I need to get the job at Microsoft are experience at big tech companies like Google or Apple, a perfect score on the online assessments, a degree from the top American universities. But guess what? None of that were true. In the next few minutes, I will show you how I use LinkedIn to apply in a different way. The two type of coding questions you need to study. How I turned my normal experience in my resumes into a something special. Now let's talk about LinkedIn first. Forgot about sending hundred applications. Here is what really works. First, you need to find the right people to connect with. Look for software engineers and recruiters who work at the team you're interested in. Don't just click connect. Read their posts and understand what they care about. When you connect with someone, send them a friendly message that shows you are reading their profile. For example, if you aim for the Microsoft role, you can look out for the Microsoft certificate or Azure certificate. For me, when I had schools, I found a certificate that is really great. It's called Software Engineers Virtual Programs. This program is covered just doing virtually, but after that, you will have their certificate so that you can put it in your resumes and see how Microsoft actually work. So once I connect with them on LinkedIn, I would mention my experience with Microsoft Software Engineer Virtual Programs, which I shows I was serious about the company. Share your own learning journeys too. I post about my projects like Duo Code, where my teams won outstanding idea prize. I share how we build it using React and Node.js, and how it helps students learn pair programming. I also post about my robotic competitions, where we build a maze navigation robot. This post shows I could both work with code and work with team. Now, let me talk about my resumes. My startup experience become my secret weapons. I work at IPT Softwares, where I build searching features using Java and Spring Boot. Instead of just listing technologies, I show real impact, like maintaining 75 a code converge with my tests. Now, let's talk about my resumes. I have shown here is my actual resumes that I applied for Microsoft. I turn all my experience, even if it's small experience or is a big text experience. For example, I work at APT Software, where I build searching features using Java and Spring Boot. Instead of just listing technologies, I show real impact like maintaining 75% of code coverage with my tests and helping deliver software used by more than 200 banks branch. I also highlight my leadership skills. I led the dual code project teams, guide the Elastic mobile app development and smart finance app project. Each project shows different skills, from building RESTful APIs to working with MongoDBs and Firebase. What really helped my resume stand out was my competitive achievements. I won first place in the competitive programming contest, solving six tough coding problems faster than 18 teams. This shows I could handle pressures and solving problems quickly. And that is exactly what Microsoft looking for. Now, after I changing everything in my resumes and then get a referral from the Microsoft engineers, I didn't have to go through the process for online assessments. The recruiters actually look at my resumes and the referral as well and decide that I don't need to do online assessment anymore and can move forward with their phone screens right ahead. Now, the first phone screen interviews is super important. Let me tell you what most people don't know about Microsoft phone screen interview. I have a friend also apply for Microsoft like me. He had their interview before me. 
and his stories teach us a valuable lesson. He have a perfect grade and lost a project, but he keep failing phone interviews. Why? Because he focused too much on memorizing solutions instead of understanding problems. That is a mistake I almost made too. Here is what you really need to know about the phone screen interview. The format is different from what most people expect. This is not just about coding. They want to see how you think. Your interviews will ask you questions about your code and suggest change. This is your chance to show that you can work with others. They usually ask two types of questions. First, they will give you a simple question to warm up. Then come the main questions, which often involve data structures like arrays, strings, or trees. But here is the secret. They care more about how you solve it than if you can get the perfect answer. When solving problems, think out loud. Tell them what you are thinking. If you are stuck, say what you have tried and what isn't working. They want to see your problem-solving approach. The way you talk to your interviewers really matters. Be friendly and professional. Ask questions if you are not sure about some things. Show you are excited for solving problems. This makes them want to work with you. Then after a couple of weeks, I get the emails said that I can move on to the on-site interview. So the virtual on-site interviews at Microsoft for interns only include two back-to-back -back interview, not four interviews like in the full times. This is where most people get nervous. But I will tell you exactly how to handle both interviews. The first interview is all about your technical skills. You need to solve a coding problem usually involve data structures and algorithms. Here's what makes me successful. Instead of jumping straight ahead into coding, I first explain my thought process. When I got a question about optimizing an array problems, I walk through different approach, from the simple push force solutions to the most effective one. The interviewers really like seeing how I thought through each steps. The second interview is completely different. This is about behaviors. This is where Microsoft tries to understand who you are, other persons, and team members. They want to know how you handle real workplace situations. Let me tell you exactly how to prepare for this. First, organize your stories using star method, situation, task, actions, and result. I prepare stories about leading my teams to win the outstanding ideas prize how I handle challenges during my APT software's internships, especially when working with those more than 200 bank branch, and that times in the competitive programming contest, where our team have to solve six top problems in a short amount of time, and we still won first place. When they ask me about handling difficult situations, I talk about coordinates with designers and testers at APT softwares. I explain how I use their agile methodologies to keep everyone aligned and deliver quality code with simplified test coverage. For questions about teamwork, I share my experience about leading mobile app projects. I explain how I guide a team of six students, divide responsibilities, and keep everyone's motivations until we achieve our goal. Here is how to handle this back-to-back -back interview. Take 5 minute breaks between interviews to reset your mind. The shift between technicals to behaviors requires a different mindset. Have some waters, stand up, and take a deep breath. For technical interview, stay focused on problem solving and clean code. Show your thought process, and don't forget, test your solutions. For behavioral interviews, be authentic and professional, using specific experience from your experience. Numbers and concrete resources make your stories more powerful. Most importantly, show your passions for learning and technologies. I talk about my certificate from Microsoft Virtual Programs and how they help me understand the company's technologies better. Remember, they are not just hiring someone who can code. They are looking for a team members who can communicate well and handle real-world challenges. That is why behavioral interviews just as important as their technical ones. Now, let's talk about how you prepare the right way. Don't just solve hundreds of random problems. 
Pick one type of problems, legs, arrays, and solve similar problems until you really understand the pattern. Quality bit quantities. Learn to spot the patterns in problems. Many questions look different, but use the same solution patterns. Once you see these patterns, you can solve the new problems much more easily. Practice interviews with friends or online. This is different when someone's watching you code. Get comfortable explain your thinking while you're solving problems. Prepare stories about your past work. Think about time you solve hard problems, working in teams, and learn from mistakes. These stories show who you are as a developer. Here's how to think about the whole process. When you get the coding questions, treat it as a real problem you solve at work. Think about the edge case, about performance. This shows you are careful, thoughtful programmers. Speak clearly about your thought. Explain what you are doing and why. If you are making mistakes, explain how you caught it and fixing it. This shows you can communicate well. Don't get discouraged by mistakes. Learn from them instead. After X interviews, write down what went well and what you could do better next time and stay calm when things get tough. If you get stuck, take a deep breath. Break the problems into small parts. Ask questions if you need to. This shows you can handle pressure as well. Now you know exactly what I did to success. But knowing what to do is just the first step. That's why I make Liquid Mate. This is like having a personal teacher that helps you at every step of the way. Let's break down each problem into small, easy to understand steps. No more staring at the problems, wondering where to start. I show you the common patterns that come up in coding interviews. Once you learn these patterns, similar problems become much more easier. This platform keeps track of which type of problems you are good at and which ones need more practice. This helps you study smarter, not harder. This gives you practice problems that much what companies really ask. This means you are always practicing the right thing. And if you want to see how I turn these Microsoft internships into jobs at Microsoft later on and TikTok, Amazon as well, hit subscribe and click the notification bell. I will share the stories in the next couple weeks.